Welcome to Could You Survive, the channel where we delve into the most extreme survival scenarios imaginable. Today, we're tackling a poison so deadly it's been used as a political assassination tool, polonium. But first, let's understand what polonium is. Polonium is a highly radioactive element that emits alpha particles, making it extremely toxic if ingested, inhaled, or absorbed through the skin. It's a rare substance, but its lethal properties have been infamous since the poisoning of Alexander Litvinenko in 2006. Polonium, a radioactive element, is notorious for its use in nuclear weapons and as a lethal poison. But what would happen if you were poisoned with polonium? Could you survive? Polonium are incredibly energetic and destructive to living tissue. Ingesting even minuscule amounts of polonium can result in severe organ and tissue damage, leading to radiation sickness and, ultimately, death. So, what might unfold if you were poisoned with polonium? Initially, you might not even realize it. Polonium is devoid of taste, odor, and color, making it a stealthy killer. Symptoms could take days or weeks to manifest complicating diagnosis. So, what happens if you're exposed to polonium? Well, the effects are devastating. Even a tiny amount can cause severe radiation sickness, leading to nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, hair loss, and ultimately, organ failure. The radiation attacks the body's cells, disrupting their function and causing widespread damage. But is there a chance of survival? In most instances, the outlook is bleak. However, immediate medical intervention can bolster your odds. Physicians may employ chelation therapy to eliminate polonium from your system and administer supportive care to alleviate symptoms. Additionally, it's crucial to minimize further exposure to radiation. This means removing contaminated clothing, washing exposed skin thoroughly, and staying in a safe location until help arrives. So, could you survive if you were poisoned with polonium? It's a chilling prospect, but with swift action and medical attention, there exists a slim possibility. Remember, knowledge and preparedness are crucial in the face of adversity. Thanks for watching this episode of Could You Survive? If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thrilling survival scenarios. And as always, stay safe, stay prepared, and until next time, keep asking yourself, could you survive?